Hello everybody, my name's Alan and you're watching Guns Gear in Outdoors Alaska. So today we're going to be testing how waterproof are shotgun shells. I got the idea to do this while I was down on Kodiak Island doing some work. I was issued a Remington 870 with slugs for bear protection. And it's pretty wet down there on Kodiak Island and we were doing a lot of wading around in streams and it gave me the idea like, hey, wonder how waterproof shotgun shells are. They're not really sealed up like rifle or pistol cartridges. So I have six different varieties of shotgun shells here and a bucket of water. I'm just gonna throw them in here for a few hours and then try to shoot them and see what happens. So I got, I tried to get a good range of different kinds of shotgun shells. So we got a one ounce Winchester Super X rifled slug. We'll throw that in the bucket. We got a Expert High Velocity Steel Winchester Super X Waterfall Load. We'll throw that in there. We got a Migra Custom Waterfall Load. Got some SMB Double Out Buck. We got a Remington Sportsman Steel 3 Inch Waterfall Load. And a Federal Top Gun Just Target Load. So. Got all those here in our bucket and uh, come back in a few hours, try to shoot them, see what happens. I have no idea, so we're, we're in this together. Let's see how it goes. All right, so it's been about a couple hours with our bucket of shotgun shells here. I'm gonna be using this Mossberg 500 to test them. I'm just gonna see if they shoot, see what happens. I got it loaded up with a few dry shells right now just to prove the gun works. So let's shoot those right away. All right, so the gun's working fine. Let's grab our first waterlogged shotgun shell and see what happens. All right. First up is the Federal Top Gun Target Load. All right, I'm gonna verify quick that the bore is clear, but that seemed to shoot just fine. All right, so our bore is clear. We're ready for another shot. Just a quick thing about safety. I think this should be relatively safe. I got some safety glasses on. I'm gonna stop and inspect the barrel every time to make sure there's nothing stuck in the middle, even if it seems like it went off or if we just get a click. Because one thing I'm concerned about is the powder getting wet and just the primer, pushing the charge into the center of the barrel. We don't wanna follow that up with a bore, bore obstruction, cause a explosion, that'd be bad. Another thing I'm a little concerned about is uh, overpressure. If the sh area around the shot gets filled with water, that powder is going to be pushing a little bit heavier charge than it was meant to, and that's going to cause a little bit more pressure. I don't think it'll be to a dangerous level, but I'm wearing safety glasses just in case and having my beautiful camera assistant get behind me. So, yeah, we're being safe out here, but still don't try this at home. But let's grab the next shell. All right, we got the Winchester Super X one ounce rifled slug. Here we go. Just fine. No problem in water for a few hours. Nothing. Okay, that was the Winchester Super X rifled slug. Did great. Moving on to the next shot show. Oh, we got the Migra Custom Waterfowl Load. I wanted to test these waterfowl loads because I think they're the most likely to get submerged like this and still get grabbed and used if you're duck hunting or something, dropping them in the bottom of your boat. But all right, Migra Custom Waterfowl Load, here we go. Just fine, no problems. Pretty good results so far. I'm gonna check this bore and then uh, We'll move on to the next one. Okay, 
We got the Winchester Super X high velocity steel, three inch. Another waterfall load. Just fine. I'm gonna check this bore quick and grab the next one. Next up is the Remington Sportsman high velocity steel, three inch. Checking the bore. All right, we got the SMB double up buck. I think it's gonna work just fine. I don't even see any water in there with the buckshot. Looks dry. Okay, wow. I thought we'd at least get a couple of duds in there with the bird shot, especially where it's just got that loose crimp. But everything we tried worked. That was that was a really interesting result. And I guess I probably wouldn't go around storing my shotgun shells in a bucket of water, but it seems like if they get a little damp, they're gonna be okay. But take that with the caveat that this is a sample size of one for each. I, I would have done more, but ammo's kind of expensive these days, and I didn't know if they'd still work, but yeah, all six still worked. That was awesome. All right, thanks for watching. Let me, let me know what you think in the comments. Like, subscribe, and thanks. Have a good one.